this song comes from uh, I happen to be with that guy we were driving out of the San Gabriel Mountains back then to uh, LA and uh, I remember the uh, sky was there was a straight line above which was bright bright blue and below which was dark dark brown and uh, we are driving we've been in uh, what's the name of the place? Wrightwood for the 4th of July for some reason that I never still hadn't gotten we're driving uh, back down into this line of stuff and uh, I remember saying to our guy you know I said uh, guy you know we're doing this of our own free will and he said yeah man I know and we're driving along and uh, I'm uh, sitting in his VW van and uh I'm like sitting in a van, you know, in the passenger seat, the uh, windshield's about that far from your face, right? And I saw this great big uh, red shoulder, red tailed hawk, one of the one of the two. It was flying long many feet up five hundred feet, however far. And it had a snake in its talons. It was flying along and I was looking at it, wow. The guy's like driving along and uh, I was watching this thing, you know. And uh, all of a sudden, something happened. The snake was still alive, whatever. And it got loose, and it just like, I'm like watching this whole thing. Wow, and this snake sticks in my windshield wiper like that far from my face. It's like stuck in there. I said, you know, it's like, man, God, did you see that? And he said, yeah, far out. <laughs> we proceed, and we come down into the outskirts of L.A., and uh, something happened. Guys rebuilt this engine on this crummy, uh, stupid Volkswagen van about four times, right? And all of a sudden, it stops, and we're at a dead coast. And I know better than to say anything, you know. I just, like, sit there real quiet. We coast along. Coast over to the side of the road, right? And we come to a coasting stop on the gravel. The guy gets out, doesn't say anything. I, of course, didn't say anything. He gets out, boy, and I mean, slams the door, trudges around to the back. You know, the engine's in the back. I mean, never, who'd ever trust anything with the engine in the back? For starters, I'm sitting there, and guy pretty soon after about a minute, he comes walking back around, you know, pissed, you know. Walks around, grabs, this, rips the snake out of the windshield wiper and keeps going back around to the back. And I'm sitting there, you know. And uh, he comes back in, gets in, slams the door, and starts and starts, right? Whatever, you know. Let's, let's proceed, right? And we made it. We made it about a mile and a half to this gas station. And he pulls into the gas station, turns it off, and uh, starts to get out of the car again. And at that point, you know, I said, "Hold it, hold it, hold it." Would you please tell me exactly what's going on? And it turns out he'd uh, taken that snake. What had happened, we busted a, a, a fan belt. He had taken a snake, put it around his two little flywheels, and we made it for like a mile and a half. <laughs> uh, that's all. But anyway, before the fan belt, on this, uh, before the fan belt busted, on this same trip, we were, uh, guy got the, uh, guy got the idea for uh, L.A. Freeway, a beautiful song, you know. And he's kind of driving along, just go off down the L.A. freeway without getting killed or caught. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, you know, I guess I could write a song, too, as long as we're just driving along. And uh, anyway, make a long story a little, just a little bit longer. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, this here is what I came up with, right? His only claim to fame is it was written at the same time as L.A. freeway. This man down at the used car lot tried to sell me four wheels and a trunk. I said, man, there ain't no engine. He said, engine, just a bunch of junk. You don't need no engine to go down the hill. And I can plainly see. That's the direction you're headed in. And he handed me the key. I said, no deal. You can't sell that stuff to me. 
Oh no, dear, we're headed back to Tennessee. <laughs> well, I went to a doctor of the highest order. He said I couldn't have a drink for a year. Maybe one glass of wine on my birthday. My birthday wasn't too very near. Well, he must have put me in a state of shock, because I made it for about two weeks. And then he sent me a bill and knocked me flat off the wagon and back down on my feet. I said, no deal, you can't sell that stuff to me. Oh, no deal, we're headed back to Tennessee. Well, when true love knocked upon my door, she just barely turned 16. I was a little bit nervous, if you know just what I mean. I'd heard somewhere that true love conquers all. I figured that was that. And I started having dreams about being chased out of town wearing nothing but my cowboy hat. Was it old deal? Can't sell that stuff to me. On the old deal. Headed back to Tennessee. Well, we come through this life stumblers, friends. Expect to die that way. Could be 20 years from now. Could be most any day. But if there ain't no whiskey and women, Lord, up behind them heavenly doors. We're gonna take our chances down below And of that you can be sure There's no deal You can't sell that stuff to me Oh no deal We're headed back to Tennessee There's no deal You can't sell that stuff to me Oh no deal We're headed back to Tennessee Thank you all very much. We had a big time. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Guy Clark and Mr. Towns Van Zandt. Thanks for coming out.